Welcome to Tesla Vision. Today we will talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates. Let's get into it right away. Tesla's end of quarter reports are always pretty crazy, but it looks like this one might be insane despite the ongoing shortage of semiconductors, which has forced many EV makers to trim their production capacities. As the automaker prepares to release its first quarter delivery numbers in a few days, the EV community is upbeat that Tesla could hit the targets set forth by Wall Street. A recent aerial footage taken by a drone flying above the Fremont factory proves that Tesla has already completed retooling the production lines for the Model S and Model X and is now putting all its efforts into increasing Model 3 and Model Y production. A number of car carrier trucks were spotted in the footage, loaded with Model 3s and Model Ys. There were also rows of Model 3 and Model Ys at the parking lot, waiting to be delivered. According to Joseph Speck, an analyst at the RBC Capital Markets, Tesla is expected to deliver 170,000 vehicles in the first quarter of 2021, that is a 92% year-over-year increase. Previously, RBC had estimated that more than 180,000 vehicles would be delivered, so the new figure actually represents a 6% quarter-over-quarter decline. Overall, Tesla is expected to deliver 164,800 units of Model 3 or Y, as well as 5,300 units of Model S or X. While these estimates might be off, Considering that customer deliveries of the refreshed Model S or X are yet to begin, at least 96,000 Tesla Model S vehicles and 74,000 Tesla Model X vehicles are expected to be produced at the company's Fremont and Gigafactory Shanghai facilities. During Tesla's fourth quarter 2020 earnings call, Elon Musk remarked that he is confident that his car company could maintain a growth rate in excess of 50% per annum for the next several years bearing in mind that the automaker produced and delivered about 500,000 cars in 2020, Musk's target seems to be a bit high, and it would require the company to increase its deliveries to actually hit the set target. For the massive increase to be reached, the company has already extended the shipment period for other markets from the Fremont factory after the first quarter, and is currently counting on ramping up deliveries in California and other regions at the end of every quarter. Another reason to believe that Tesla could actually surpass fourth quarter 2020 numbers is that we have not heard of the company running promotions to help boost its sales. Moreover, considering the growing number of reports and estimates from different analysts, as well as the latest aerial footage of Tesla's Fremont factory, it appears that the company may be attempting to break another record. In a separate story, Tesla has appealed to the United States Appeals Court to immediately reinstate higher emissions penalties against automakers that fail to comply with fuel efficiency laws. Back in January, the former U.S. President Donald Trump delayed the commencement of 2016 Obama regulations until 2022. According to Tesla, the action taken by the Trump administration is unlawful and diminishing the value of performance-based incentives that EV makers, Tesla included, accrue. Although President Joe Biden firmly stands for tougher emissions standards, his administration seems to be somewhat sluggish in implementing Tesla's plea for an immediate reinstatement. The Biden-Harris administration claims that National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is in the process of reviewing the Trump action on corporate average fuel economy penalties and will make its decision in the next few months. A group representing major traditional automakers also opposes Tesla's move. Tesla, whose vehicles are all electric, has been selling credits to other car manufacturers to help them comply with the emission standards. However, due to the Trump's rule change, the company has been decrying a lack of value for its credits. Last year, the automaker posted its first full-year profits made possible by record vehicle deliveries as well as impressive regulatory credit sales. The company generated about $1.58 billion in revenue from sales of regulatory credits, which is a sharp increase from $594 million in the previous year. In its interim final rule, the NHTSA said that it was planning to reduce future burdens on industry by up to $1 billion per year. Last month, 
at least 15 states, as well as the Sierra Club and National Resources Defense Council, sued the agency for failing to impose higher penalties for companies that fail to comply with the fuel efficiency standards. In 2015, Congress ordered the federal agencies to revise civil penalties to take care of inflation. In response, NHTSA issued guidelines raising fines to $14 from $5.50 for every 0.1 miles per gallon a new car consumes in excess of the recommended rates. According to environmental groups, the U.S. fuel economy fines lost approximately 75% of their initial value because they had only been adjusted from $5 to $5.50 since 1975. The latest fines have been paid by Stellantis NV, fired Chrysler Automobiles, which was slapped with a $79 million civil penalty for not meeting the 2017 fuel economy standards. The automaker was also fined $77.3 million for flouting the 2016 requirements. The company cautioned in October that if higher penalties were allowed to take effect immediately, then it could incur huge costs of up to $581 million, depending on its capability to implement future product actions and modify regulatory credit utilization. So far, several large automakers in the United States have set their own dates on when they intend to transit to zero-emissions powertrains. For instance, General Motors and Ford have declared to go electric by 2035 and 2030, respectively. Meanwhile, a recent report from a reputable South Korean publication has suggested that Tesla and Toyota are poised to revisit an old partnership on the development of electric vehicles. The partnership between these two companies has reportedly been under review since last year. Quoting an official from the Japanese automaker, the Chosun Ilbo, one of the leading newspapers in South Korea announced that the upcoming cooperation between Tesla and Toyota would likely result in the development of a small electric SUV. Toyota is reportedly offering vehicle platforms and parts in the partnership, while Tesla will provide EV's electronic control platform and software support. Tesla partnering with Toyota means the upcoming all-electric SUV would undeniably be a disruptor on its own, as Toyota has already had plenty of experience in mass production of complex vehicles, and Tesla has all the expertise when it comes to EV's electronics and software. With Tesla's experience in EV technology, the upcoming EV would likely be capable of the over-the-air updates, something that Toyota has never achieved on its own up to date. A small electric SUV built in a partnership between Tesla and Toyota could be a formidable competitor in the segment of affordable crossovers. Simple cars like Hyundai Kona Electric, MGZS EV, and the Kia Niro EV currently dominate this segment. A less costly electric SUV being developed by the two automakers would definitely be a compelling choice for EV buyers. A representative for Toyota declined to comment on the recent report from the South Korean publication. Quote, we would like to refrain from commenting on speculations, end quote, he noted. Although the report by Chosun Ilbo could appear to contravene with Tesla's ongoing efforts to make a $25,000 electric vehicle, such a partnership could still work in favor of the U.S. electric car maker. Tesla's cheaper electric car is expected to be designed and built in China, and according to Elon Musk, this tiny and affordable vehicle could be a game-changer in the auto industry. All in all, the Tesla Toyota crossover SUV could have ample space to compete in the affordable crossover EV market. It is important to note that this would not be the first time Tesla and Toyota have worked together to develop an electric vehicle. Back in 2010, Tesla agreed to partner with Toyota to develop an electric vehicle dubbed RAV4. The vehicle was equipped with Tesla's powertrain, software, battery system and boasted up to 100 miles of range. Unfortunately, Due to various reasons, like RAV's for poor sales, the partnership between Tesla and Toyota ended in 2017. However, Tesla CEO Elon Musk and Toyota CEO Akio Toyota have since maintained their friendship, leaving room for a possible future reunion. However, despite the RAV4 EV not being sold widely, the car was actually loved by many EV enthusiasts because of its stellar software ample range and phenomenal acceleration of 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 7 seconds. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, 
so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.